Okay, so as you can see, I have this beautiful uh, picture of a sunset right here, which is from the, which I took from the center island, Storon Island. Okay, so uh, here, if you look uh, closely, you can see that there are three uh, watermarks there, invisible, quite invisible watermarks with my name. Here's one. Here is another one. And then there is another one right over here, which is a bit too invisible. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, now when I go to PowerPoint, there we go, we're in PowerPoint, I have another picture right over here that is also from the center island of Toronto Islands. And if you'd like to see more pictures like this, you can check them out on my Shutterstock profile where I have more pictures uh, like this taken here. Uh, the link will be given in the description. Now to go to the main point is that we're going to put in a text here. So I'm just going to take the text and let's say I want the name on the clouds. They go on the clouds and I'm just going to type in my name right there so there is my name now i'm going to select it all by pressing on ctrl a so that's selected now i'm going to go to shape format from there i'm going to choose no fill for both of the shape fill and the shape outline and after that in the text fill i'm going to click on the drop down and then choose the eyedropper tool right over there and since the image is somewhere in the clouds i'm going to select somewhere in the clouds that is going to be matching the color of the clouds so this is what i have chosen and the same i'm going to take for the text outline as well so somewhere there now if i leave it you can see that my name is quite invisible there we're being able to notice it because we're the ones who put it there but if we saw the image for the first time it would be hard to see it just like this one this image actually has the names but it's hard to see so similarly we can do another one and we can do it uh, somewhere here in the grass or somewhere here in the grass. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to place it somewhere where you're not going to be looking that much, right? So I'll just put it somewhere here. And then let's say I'm putting my name again. And the fun thing is my name is also searchable on Google. I've tried it a couple of times and it gives three pages of results. So that's why I like to go with my name right now. Okay, so control A selected it. Now shape format, I'm just going to click on the same things because I have already chosen no fill and no outline. Now for the text fill, I'm going to take my eyedropper and I'm going to choose, let's say this color. And for my text outline, I'm going to go with the eyedropper and select somewhere similar. So as you can see, the name is almost invisible. Only a tiny bit is visible due to the light there. So if you think you'd like to move it a bit here and there, you can do that as well. And it is quite invisible, just like the name that's right over here. So with this, now you have your name watermark to this image. So even if you post this image on uh, social media without uploading it to your Shutterstock profile or any stock photography websites then no one else will be able to use though these pictures because they have your name in it and as the policy of those websites they're not going to take in an image that has text on that okay so yeah that is how you can use powerpoint to give your photos invisible watermarks so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and if you want to see more helpful videos like this please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos i have here